do you have a total number for the uh, amount of tax credits given in the budget? So this year? Yeah, this year. So is it a billion dollars of tax credits, 700 million? $500 million. Five hundred million total tax credits. Yeah. Four hundred a million. That is the is the uh, film tax credit. Four hundred. You're talking about overall everything. Overall. Overall, yeah. yeah. Give us no. That's not that. Sure. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. For this year. Yeah. Four hundred million is the full year. The full thing is the film tax credit. Yeah. So then there's a hundred million in other tax credits for a total of yeah, 500? Yeah, there, there are other forms of tax credits, earned income tax credits, there's a whole bunch of them. And they only total a hundred million? hundred billion. No, never mind. Yes. Yeah, a lot more than that, right? Yes, there would be a hundred of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions. Of millions of dollars. Do you have a, an estimate of those hundreds of millions? No, because we have a, I mean, we'd have to add it up. We have a whole bunch of things that we do. Okay. You know, we have different forms of credit. Okay. Um, that's fine. Thank you, Mr. Farrell. On the bill. Thank you. On take, the bill, Mr. Walter. Take a well-deserved break. I'll, I'll, I'll try to go long so uh, Mr. Farrell can rest. <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah. Um, just a, a, a couple of things. I mean, we're talking about billions and, or not billions, but hundreds of millions of dollars in tax credits uh, when we could really just use those tax credits to lower everybody's taxes, uh, to create a lower tax state uh, than the highest tax state in the union, which we already are. Uh, I think that would be much better tax policy than picking winners and losers with all of these different tax credits uh, that equal hundreds of millions of dollars. So much we can't even quantify it. We just have to say hundreds of millions. So I think that uh, a better policy would be to lower everyone's taxes instead of picking winners and losers. And I just want to comment on the uh, property tax freeze. Look, it. we know what this is. This is a gimmick. It's a big gimmick. It's not lowering anybody's property taxes. It's just giving money back from the right hand and giving it to the left hand. It's, it's, a, it's a scam. That's OK. Our taxpayers are going to get some money back, so that's a good thing. But the thing that's driving our property taxes, despite what the governor may say and the thousands of local governments that we have, that's not what's really driving our taxes. What's driving our local property taxes are unfunded state mandates, whether it be Medicaid, pensions, you name it. That's what drives our local property taxes. And we need to reduce our unfunded state mandates, and then we'll be able to lower our property taxes, not through giving six or 60 or $16 checks back to our uh, constituents uh, for their property taxes, and then we're going to leave them high and dry in three years when their taxes have gone up year after year, and then we're not going to be there with a check after three years. How does that equal a tax freeze or any type of real tax reform? It doesn't. There are a lot of positives to this bill. Overall, we're lowering taxes by over $500 million, and that's a good thing. When you're the highest tax state in the, in the nation, you got a long way to go, and $500 million is just a drop in the bucket. So I hope we can continue down this path of lowering taxes, but let's lower taxes for everyone, not just give tax credits to a preferred few. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.